Hello everybody, my name is Jim Lane and I'm a senior solution engineer with Microfocus. Today I wanted to show you how Microfocus products can be used to help manage a customer's entire SDLC. So we'll start off as an end user. I'm an end user and I interact with a 3270 application on a daily basis. Now during my interaction with this application, I've noticed something that I wanted to request a change to. Fortunately, my company uses Microfocus Rumba as its terminal emulation software, and Rumba makes it very easy for me to take screenshots, if which I want to do here because I want to include that on my change request. So to start the change request process, I'm going to jump over to Born and Star Team. I'm going to submit a new change request. Start off as a suggestion provide my synopsis of the change, add in my screenshot as an attachment, and assign it to my manager. So now I am the manager, and I jump over in my change request, and lo and behold, there is a brand new change request. I'm going to take a look at it. Here's the synopsis. Looks like they provided me an attachment. I can take a look at it. I'm not really sure what's going to be involved in this change. So what I'm going to do is list this as open, leave this type the same, assign it to business analyst for them to do some analysis to determine what's going to be required to make this change and wait for their feedback. Alright, so next I am the business analyst. I see a change request has been assigned to me. I'm going to come in and take a look. I am new to supporting this application. I, I don't know much about it. I can take a look at the information that was provided with the change request and this might be of use to me because what I'm going to need to do is do some deeper analysis. So, fortunately, my company uses Microfocus's Enterprise Analyzer. So I've opened Enterprise Analyzer. I've loaded up the project for this specific application. Enterprise Analyzer helps me to gain understanding of uh, artifacts within our portfolio. And that's what I really need to do. So I need to find where in the application this information is that was specified in the change request. So I'm going to take that title that was provided to us on the screenshot and see if we can find that. Looks like there is just one artifact within the portfolio that meets that. So I'm going to go in and do a little deeper analysis on that. So now I've opened up the interactive analysis module within Enterprise Analyzer and I can start doing some ad hoc type of analysis by drilling through the Kali diagram that's provided to show how the parsers in Enterprise Analyzer have functionally decomposed both the data items and the procedural code within this program. But what I'm doing is trying to key on that title that was provided in my change request to try to find out where that exists in the program. I can pluck that into the find window and it jumps immediately to that particular line. So here we found where that title exists. It looks like there already is a field here to handle the customer name. So I'm going to need to do some additional analysis at this point. So what I want to do next as a business analyst is to do some due diligence. So while we found this uh, one particular item that uh, had a field that matched what we was provided on the change request for us. What I want to do is make sure there that this doesn't exist somewhere else in perhaps a slightly different form. Just to be sure that this is exactly where we need to make this change. So I'm going to create a query based upon that particular field that we highlighted. And what I'm going to do is change it from an exact match to a wildcard type of search. Run my query 
and sure enough there was only one find here. So I think we can be pretty sure that this is where we're going to need to make our change to support this change request. So I think what we'll do here as a last step is create a report which will highlight the information we found in regards to what we feel needs to be changed so we can attach that to the change request to hopefully help during the development process. So now we will jump back over to our change request, attach our report that we just saved, we will add a comment in to describe what we found and assign it back to manager. Okay, so now I'm going to go back as the manager. I see the change request has been assigned back to me from the business analyst. I'm looking at the information they provided back. This looks pretty straightforward. I see that they added an attachment for the development process. So now what I'm going to do is turn this change request into an app mod. I'm going to assign it to the architect so that they can go about determining how the change should be made and who should make it. I'm now also going to create a new task. And I'm going to assign it to the business analyst so they will create a requirement for this new application modification because developers aren't allowed to make changes without an active and open change request and requirement. Um, assigned to it. So I'll assign that to the business analyst. They'll see that. And now what I'm also going to do is link this task back to our change request. So that now when someone is viewing either one, like they're looking at the change request, they can go over the links and see that something else is attached to it as well. Okay, so now I am the architect. I can take a look at the information that was provided in the initial request. I can see the information that was provided back from the analysis phase it looks like they've identified a single module and a single line of code that needs to be changed, but as an architect, I know that there can be a, a strong ripple effect of changing even a single line of code or a single field. So what I'm going to need to do to complete my job is do an impact analysis of this change, and I'm going to use Enterprise Analyzer as well. Now to save time, we'll jump back right to Hyperview where we were before, and show you how an architect could come in and add in an additional view to the uh, interactive analysis window and be able to continue this process. So what I could do is come down and take a look at, let's say, the field that uh, we want to change. Highlight it. It could be a field, it could be a variable, a memory location, a uh, column and a table, any of those. And I could uh, select that and perform, uh, a, tell the system to do a detailed analysis. First what we'll do is we'll take a look at what might be happening, happening upstream. What happens before this module is hit that could affect the value of that uh, particular variable. And what it's telling me is that there are no upstream uh, impacts to this, that the value for this particular field derives solely from this module. So now let's look downstream and we can see that information is passed to the linkage section and that uh, after, it's, it, after it's passed in the linkage section most likely some additional programs uh, will be called as that information is passed downstream and it does look like it's passed down the stream to quite a few modules we can start drilling into this and see how 
the information is used from each field and where it's used in particular uh, additional modules, how it's passed in, how it's used. But this looks rather straightforward. The information starts in this module and all the subsequent screens derive the value for this header display from this module. So I think we've uh, covered our basis here in regards to what the potential impacts might be. What I'm also going to do is take the information we found during this impact analysis, create an effective code report, so that we can attach that to the change request as well. Let's see if we can pop back over here. I'll now add this report to the change request. And let's see here. We mark this as in progress and assign it to the developer to be able to make those changes.